We're investigating a multi-state outbreak of E. coli 0157H7 infections. 32 ill people have been reported from 11 states. Um, and our investigation um, has um, indicated that romaine lettuce is the likely source of the infections. Um, FDA is trying to determine the source of the romaine lettuce, so, but right now there's been no common grower, supplier, or brand of romaine lettuce. So we want people to not eat or buy any romaine lettuce, and that includes whole head romaine, uh, hearts of romaine, romaine that could be in a salad mix um, while our investigation continues. Um, also, if you don't know if your lettuce is romaine lettuce, then just don't eat it. Uh, this is a different outbreak strain. It has a different DNA pr fingerprint of E. coli than it, um, the spring of 2018 in, uh, E. coli outbreak. Um, and that was linked to uh, romaine lettuce from the growing region in Arizona. Uh, however, we haven't been able to determine where exactly the romaine lettuce is coming from um, in this outbreak investigation. People with an E. coli infection usually have um, bloody diarrhea and stomach cramps about three or four days after they eat a food that's contaminated with the germ. Their illness lasts about a week. Um, if you don't feel uh, very well, you should go see your doctor. Um, and some people, like children under five and older adults and people with weakened immune systems can have a more severe um, illness and they also should go and, and see their doctor if they have some of these symptoms.